two of the world's most advanced stealth fighters are redefining air dominance. Israel's F-3050 Ayadir meets Russia's Su-57 in a technology race where speed, stealth, and firepower could decide the future of aerial combat. Who truly rules the skies? Let's break it down. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we dive into the thrilling world of next generation stealth jets. The skies have never been more competitive and at the center of this battle are two formidable aircraft, Israel's F-35I Adir and Russia's Su-57. Both planes represent the pinnacle of their nation's technological and tactical capabilities, yet each brings a different philosophy to aerial warfare. The F-35 Idea, a customized variant of the American F-35, combines advanced stealth, avionics, and sensor fusion, offering Israeli pilots unprecedented situational awareness. Its emphasis on networked warfare ensures it can operate seamlessly with other assets in complex scenarios. On the other side, the Su-57 represents Russia's answer to stealth and multi-role capabilities with super maneuverability, supersonic cruising speed, and internal weapons bays. It's designed to challenge both traditional and next-gen threats. Today, we'll examine these aircraft across multiple dimensions design, avionics, stealth features, performance, combat versatility, and strategic implications. By the end of this breakdown, you'll have a clear understanding of how these jets stack up against each other in terms of raw capability and operational philosophy. Whether you're a military enthusiast, an aviation professional, or just fascinated by advanced aircraft, this comparison will provide a detailed, factual, and engaging overview. Let's start by analyzing the exterior design and aerodynamics of both jets and see what makes them stealthy and lethal. The exterior design of both the F-35I Adir and Su-57 is a testament to the stealth era's emphasis on radar cross-section reduction and aerodynamic efficiency. The F-35I features smooth, blended surfaces, angled edges, and internal weapon bays to minimize radar detection. Its canned vertical stabilizers, trapezoidal air intakes, and carefully designed fuselage reflect years of iterative engineering aimed at reducing radar returns while maintaining speed and maneuverability. Meanwhile, the Su-57 incorporates a more aggressive angular approach. With its twin engine layout forward swept wing roots and unique stealth shaping, it seeks to balance low observability with high agility, unlike the F-35I, which prioritizes network-centric operations and all aspects stealth. The Su-57 emphasizes supermaneuverability. Its thrust vectoring engines allow extreme pitch, yaw, and roll maneuvers, giving it an edge in dogfight scenarios. Both aircraft use radar, absorbent materials, and composite structures to further reduce visibility to enemy sensors. Thermal management and minimized infrared signatures are also critical design elements, helping each jet avoid detection from heat-seeking systems. While the F-35I's design leans toward a multi-role, stealth-first philosophy, the Su-57's approach balances stealth with raw performance. Exterior features, therefore, reflect each nation's strategic priorities. Israel focuses on survivability and intelligence dominance, while Russia emphasizes combat versatility and maneuver-based dominance. Understanding these differences in design helps explain how each aircraft performs in specific mission profiles from air superiority to deep strike operations. Avionics and sensor suits are arguably the backbone of modern fighter jets, and both the F-35I Idea and Su-57 excel in unique ways. The F-35I's avionics package is widely regarded as one of the most advanced in the world. It integrates radar, electronic warfare, communications, and infrared systems into a single sensor fusion platform, providing pilots with a comprehensive 360-degree view of the battlefield. The distributed aperture system DAS allows pilots to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously, even in low visibility conditions. 
Israel has further customized the F-35I with domestic electronic warfare upgrades and mission-specific software, enhancing survivability in regional conflict scenarios. The Su-57, meanwhile, employs a modular sensor suite focused on long-range detection and multi-spectral targeting. Its N-36 Belka radar system combines X-band AESA arrays in the nose with ELT band arrays on the wings, improving resistance to jamming and electronic countermeasures. Additionally, the Su-57's infrared search and track IRST system can detect stealthy targets without emitting radar signals, providing a potential advantage against stealth adversaries, while the F-35I excels in networked situational awareness and rapid decision-making. The Su-57 emphasizes resilience against electronic attacks and detection avoidance. Both jets demonstrate how avionics can compensate for physical limitations, yet they approach the challenge from contrasting doctrines. The F-35I favors integration and collaboration, while the Su-57 emphasizes independence and raw targeting capability. These differences influence not only how missions are executed, but also how each aircraft fits into broader Air Force strategies. Stealth remains a defining factor in the next generation fighter competition, and both jets have distinct approaches. The F-35 Aviator was designed from the ground up for low observability, making it exceptionally difficult to detect on radar, infrared, and visual spectrums. Its smooth surfaces, serrated panel edges, and specialized coatings reduce radar cross-section, while internal weapons bays eliminate external appendages that could reflect radar waves. The ADR also leverages advanced electronic countermeasures to obscure its presence further, making it a prime asset for strike missions in contested airspace. The Su-57, while not as low observable as the F-35I in all angles, uses a combination of shaping composite materials and radar absorbing coatings to reduce detectability, especially from the frontal aspect. Its stealth design sacrifices some low observable qualities in favor of maneuverability, creating a jet capable of surviving in high threat environments without relying solely on invisibility. Both aircraft utilize thermal signature management with engine nozzle design and cooling methods aimed at limiting infrared detectability. In practice, the F-35I's stealth enables it to penetrate advanced air defense networks with minimal risk, whereas the Su-57 relies on agility, electronic warfare, and tactical awareness to avoid detection. This contrast highlights the broader design philosophies Israel prioritizes preemptive survivability through invisibility, while Russia balances stealth with operational flexibility. Understanding these stealth strategies is key to appreciating how each jet performance metrics such as speed, range, and maneuverability further differentiate the F-35I Adir and Su-57. The F-35FLY reaches speeds of approximately Mach 1.6, and has a combat radius of around 1-200 kilometers, sufficient for deep strike and interception missions. Its emphasis on sustained supersonic crews and long-range precision makes it highly effective in networked operations and coordinated attacks. Maneuverability, while not as extreme as some Russian designs, is compensated by advanced flight control systems and sensor integration, allowing pilots to react rapidly to threats. The Su-57, in contrast, achieves speeds beyond Mach 2 and incorporates thrust vectoring engines for supermaneuverability. This allows extreme agility in dogfight situations including tight turns, high angles of attack, and complex aerial tactics, range is slightly higher than the F-350I, particularly with external fuel options, enabling longer patrols or deep strike missions. While both jets prioritize survivability, they approach performance differently. The F-35I integrates stealth and avionics to avoid engagements, whereas the Su-57 can dominate engagements when stealth alone is insufficient. These performance characteristics reflect each Air Force's doctrinal focus. Israel, operating in a region with dense radar networks, emphasizes invisibility and precision. Russia, anticipating potential large-scale aerial contests, values agility, speed, and endurance. 
Evaluating performance thus requires not only looking at numbers, but also understanding how these numbers translate into mission effectiveness. Combat versatility and armament options reveal another dimension in this stealth technology race. The F-3050i Adair carries a wide range of precision, guided munitions, air, to air missiles and electronic warfare pods, all housed internally to maintain stealth. Its weapons bay accommodates advanced Israeli munitions, allowing strikes on both fixed and mobile targets with high accuracy. Additionally, the F-35i sensor fusion enables pilots to engage multiple threats simultaneously, identifying the optimal target without exposing themselves. The Su-57 also features internal weapon bays, but with a focus on heavier payloads and multi-role capability, it can carry beyond visual range missiles, short range air to air missiles and precision strike bombs. Its larger airframe allows for greater ordnance flexibility, including high speed missiles optimized for supersonic attacks. A significant advantage of Su-57 is its ability to mix stealth operations with close combat dominance offering versatility in both contested and permissive airspaces. In contrast, the F-35II's approach emphasizes stealth first strikes, minimizing exposure while relying on networked support. Both jets integrate electronic countermeasure systems to protect themselves in high threat zones, but their operational philosophies differ. Israel uses precision, stealth, and intelligence to neutralize threats, while Russia employs multi-role flexibility, raw firepower, and maneuverability to achieve aerial superiority. These armament strategies reflect each nation's tactical priorities and operational environment, influencing how these jets would be deployed in various conflict scenarios. Safety and survivability features are crucial when operating high-value stealth aircraft in contested airspaces. The F-35 IADR incorporates a reinforced fuselage, advanced flight control redundancy, and ejection systems designed for pilot survival even in critical situations. Its advanced diagnostics continuously monitor aircraft systems, allowing preemptive identification of technical issues that could compromise missions. In addition, stealth and electronic warfare capabilities reduce exposure to enemy radar and missiles, significantly enhancing survivability. The Su-57 also emphasizes pilot safety through robust structural design, multiple flight control redundancies, and modern ejection systems. Its combination of maneuverability and integrated countermeasure systems allows it to evade radar guided threats effectively. Both aircraft have been optimized to withstand potential damage, ensuring the pilot can maintain control under extreme conditions. Another important factor is mission planning and situational awareness. The F-35I's sensor fusion and network connectivity provide real-time intelligence, allowing pilots to make informed decisions that minimize risk. Conversely, the Su-57's agility and advanced targeting systems offer a different survival strategy, avoiding engagement through superior aerial combat capability. These safety and survivability considerations illustrate how each aircraft balances risk with operational performance, reflecting both technological advancement and uh, doctrinal priorities in their respective air forces. Unique selling points define why each aircraft is considered a top tier fighter in the modern era. The F-35I Adir's primary advantage is its stealth integration with sensor fusion, making it highly effective in complex, networked operational environments. It excels in electronic warfare, intelligence gathering, and precision strikes while minimizing pilot exposure to threats. Israel's specific upgrades to radar systems and munitions further tailor the F-35I to regional operational needs, providing unmatched situational awareness and rapid response capability. On the other hand, the Su-57 stands out for its supermaneuverability, speed, and multi-role versatility. Its ability to combine stealth with agility allows pilots to engage in both beyond visual range combat and close range dogfights with equal effectiveness. 
Additionally, the Su-57's payload capacity and flexible weapon systems enable rapid adaptation to various mission types from air superiority to strategic strike. Both aircraft showcase unique approaches to the challenges of modern aerial combat. While the F-350I prioritizes invisibility, information dominance, and networked operations, the Su-57 emphasizes raw performance, adaptability, and combat endurance. These distinctive features underline how each nation has interpreted the future of air combat, balancing stealth, speed, and firepower to suit their strategic goals. Choosing between them depends not only on technology, but also on operational doctrine and mission requirements. Cost and operational sustainability often influence strategic decisions regarding stealth fighters. The F-350I ADIR, while technologically advanced, comes with significant acquisition and maintenance costs due to its complex systems and software intensive architecture, ongoing updates, pilot training, and integration into existing air defense networks also require substantial investment. However, Israel views these costs as necessary for maintaining a qualitative edge in a high threat region where stealth, precision, and networked capabilities outweigh expenses. The Su-57, though also expensive, presents a different economic consideration. With a focus on multi-role versatility and robust construction, its operational costs are influenced by engine maintenance, avionics, upkeep, and pilot training for advanced maneuvering. Russia has faced challenges in scaling production, which affects fleet numbers and deployment readiness. From a strategic perspective, both countries weigh costs against combat effectiveness, survivability, and technological dominance. While the F-350Y may require higher per unit investment, it offers a cohesive stealth and information dominance package. The Su-57, in contrast, provides a more flexible performance oriented approach, potentially allowing higher mission adaptability over time. Understanding these economic factors helps contextualize why each nation prioritizes specific technologies and production strategies and how these decisions ultimately affect air power projection and long-term defense planning. In conclusion, the F-35 Fair and Su-57 represent two distinct philosophies in next-generation fighter design. Israel emphasizes stealth, integrated sensors, and network combat, creating an aircraft capable of operating with minimal exposure and maximum situational awareness. Russia, through the Su-57, prioritizes supermaneuverability, speed, and operational versatility allowing pilots to dominate engagements through raw performance and adaptable tactics. Both jets feature advanced avionics, precision weaponry, and survivability measures, reflecting decades of innovation and strategic foresight. When comparing them, it's clear that neither is objectively superior in all aspects. Instead, each excels in scenarios aligned with its nation's military doctrine, for regional conflicts requiring preemptive strikes and stealthy infiltration, the F-3T-5I shines. For contested airspaces with emphasis on agility, endurance, and dogfighting, the Su-57 holds an advantage. Ultimately, this technological race demonstrates how advancements in aerospace engineering, avionics, and stealth are shaping the future of aerial combat. As both countries continue to refine and upgrade these platforms, the competition will only intensify, driving further innovation. Understanding the strengths and limitations of each aircraft provides a window into the evolving dynamics of modern air power and the strategic choices shaping global defense capabilities. If you found this comparison insightful, hit that like button, subscribe for more in-depth military tech analyses, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest content on advanced aviation and defense technology.